I'm actually pretty used to this weather. And you would never need air conditioning. I seldom, I seldom. <laughs> but it's not a worry. It feels hot okay. even to you? Sometimes, sometimes. But uh, yeah, I'm getting used to it already. That's why I'm adapting by wearing things. That That's a good idea. Long sleeves are just not um, invented so, for this weather. So you probably don't even own a coat. I, I do, because I travel well, quite a when lot. You, for when you travel, right. So I, I have but a, you would never wear a coat here. Nope. Unless okay. you're like dressed up in a suit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's amazing. This is perpetual summer all the time. It's as hot as you can get. I mean, this is like this. This is about. This is a typical summer day in Washington. It's very much an American okay. idea. <laughs> they just started. They just started. Oh yeah. I mean, even the sound of the of the announcer, he has the same style as American uh, radio. But maybe it's it's international now. They just started. I Welcome to Kiss Radio. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's the guy's name? What? The guy on American Idol who sing it. Singing. Oh, Howard Stern? No, no, the guy uh, hosting America. Seacrest? Yeah, Seacrest. Oh, yeah, well, he tried. has a show as well, right? Yeah, yeah they, they took his uh, American show and they aired it here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it's in the evening. So whenever they say, uh, he, he would, they got him to say, uh, welcome to Kiss Night to Singapore or something. Oh, really? Yeah. So, um, are there, is there a film industry here? Is there a local film? Uh, it is a small pocket. A small pocket. Yeah. Small film festival coming up. Oh really? But there's no like strong established. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you're talking about like local, local film. Well, right? independent filmmakers, but also uh, you know more mainstream. Mainstream ones there's one major director, uh, Jack New. Well, I watched. Uh, I was looking for uh, movies from Singapore to watch while I'm on my way here and I found one called Singapore Dreaming. Oh that is uh by Jack Neal. It is. Uh, yeah yeah. yeah. Is have you ever seen it? I think so. It's not very good, but it's um, <laughs> yeah, it's a little corny, but you know, it was interesting. I mean well, maybe there's some good things. What was film. the story like? Well it was about this family, the, um, and it was about the son who um, had gone off to America to go to college. Okay, I'm not seeing that one. Yeah. And, then he, yeah. and then he comes back, and he's looking for a job, and he wants all the money. And then the father, well, I won't say the whole story. <laughs> no, it's like, yeah, I, I'm not sure. No. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, and then because the father dies, and, oh, he, he wins the lottery. Who wins the lottery? Yeah, the father wins the lottery. Oh, okay. And okay. then he dies, and then the son wants all the money. I see. And their kids are fighting over the money. How many kids? I don't know, four or five kids. Four or five. Maybe, maybe three. Maybe three. Um, and then it turns out that the son who went to college never finished college. Oh. And he stole all the money, but he never even finished college. But his family spent a lot of money on him, sent him off to school. Uh, but he didn't tell anybody he would never got his degree. And so anyway, it, it's really, it's a very... Um, Melodrama. It's really a melodrama. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it was very insightful in terms of, you know, the Singapore culture and just, you know, people trying to, because the son couldn't get married until he got a job and he couldn't get a job because he actually never finished school and, you know, it kind of goes on like this. <laughs> 
if, if you're really interested in like see, seeking out, I mean not the commercial ones, but the very independent films, yeah. like you can go check out uh, what the substation has to offer. Because uh, usually, I think every month they have like a, a first take, like a screenings of like local independent filmmakers. Oh, really? uh, so they screen it for free to the public. Then you can come there, ask filmmakers questions, and they'll be there too. Uh -huh. Well, I was looking for things that I could rent on iTunes, oh. so I could watch it on my iPad on, on the 21-hour flight. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely try to look for this uh, Hu Sui Hien, The Cloud of Unknowing. The Cloud of Unknowing. I am so proud of him. Oh. He is a Singapore film maker. Uh, did he ever show you? I, I saw it, I saw it uh, in school actually. The Cloud of Unknowing. So nice title. It's so good. So profound. Oh. But what about Royston Tan stuff? Oh, I know, Cloud of Unknowing, Wind, all that. Even better. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, it was the Singapore, Singapore Biennale, uh, the Venice Biennale, the uh, Singapore entry for the the last one, Singapore's last dress at the uh, Venice Biennale before we pulled out. I think for pulled out, yeah. Really? How come? Uh, I think it blew the budget. This uh, cloud of unknowing blew the budget. <laughs> and they, they just decided, oh, let's. Was this the? Um, are you talking about the the, the visual art biennial? Uh, the Venice. There's only one Venice. Well, there are extra. Uh, there's more than one Venice in LA. There's one for architecture. There's the big one for visual art. I, I and yeah, there I may be one, one for film too. I don't know. That I, I think it's probably the visual art one. Yeah. And there was a Singapore Pavilion. Yeah, the, and the, the, the Cloud of Annoying was the last one. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting that they would show a film. Oh, it's a film plus, plus, uh, plus a performance. Oh, really? Like yeah. at the end of the film, the guy comes out and there's a cloud. Even the actor actually comes out live at yeah, the yeah. end of the film? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's interesting. But we, we just saw, in school, we just saw the, the film, the actor didn't come out. Okay. <laughs>